I'll be honest, I didn't expect it, but this weekend is very interesting for sneakers. <laughs> What up, folks? I'm your host, Jacques Slade. Welcome to the Heat Check, where we give you all the sneaker release info that you need. Let's kick things off with the releases for today, which might be more than you expected, I'd say. First, we have the Adidas Crazy Explosive Low in a colorway that you can expect many people will associate with the Yeezys. I've heard a few people calling this the zebra colorway of the shoe, though Adidas has yet to give that an official nickname. Uh, black, white, and gray are the official color codes, but if you didn't get those Yeezys, these might be a nice consolation prize. They'll cost you 120, and they're probably one of the most comfortable b-ball sneakers that you can play in. Now, if casual skateboard slash old basketball sneakers is your lane, the Nike SB Bruin is dropping in what Nike is calling Blush and Bruin. While I'm not a fan of that nickname, old school heads definitely love this sneaker, and you can grab a pair of $75 right now. Switching back to playing ball, Nike basketball is dropping a colorway of the LeBron 14 that hasn't been getting a lot of looks on the blogs, University Red. LeBron 14 hasn't really been getting a lot of press overall, but I hear it is very solid on the court. The red on the upper of this one features some strong black accents and those will cost you $175 on Friday. Staying on that basketball train, Adidas is dropping the Dame 3 West Campus colorway on Friday as well. Now this colorway is actually inspired by Dame's old AAU team. They used to practice in an abandoned building that had a gym inside of it, and the colors of the shoe reflect the inside of that gym. If you watch today in Sneaks, I actually mentioned that he said the gym was always cold because the windows at the top were broken out, and that those burgundy stripes were inspired by the wooden bleachers. Those will cost you $115. Moving ahead to Saturday, we have literally the newest shoe on the list this week. It's the Nike Kobe AD. NXT. Unlike in years past when Nike would put together an elite version of the shoe, this year they've gone a different route and created an alternate design of the Kobe signature. These release on Friday as well in a vote and they also have a wolf gray colorway and they're going to cost you $200. On the more expensive side of things, Alexander Wang and Adidas Originals have put together two different versions of a basketball shoe that go on sale on Saturday. Now, one pair is black while the other is white and both come with boosts in a very unique design. Those will cost you $260. On the running side of things, Nike has the Lunar Epic Low Flyknit 2 in the cool gray colorway. These were released for both men and women and actually have a very cool pattern on that upper. Those look really nice. Those will cost you 160 over at finish line. Puma, they continue to crush it and they actually have three pairs of shoes that are releasing this weekend. The model is the Puma Fierce Strap Flocking and you can grab that in a Peacoat, Query, or Sparkling Cosmos colorway. A Sparkling Cosmos colorway is obviously super bright, but I can definitely see people rocking it with the right gear. You can grab those for 110 over at Finish Line as well. All right, when it comes to the most hype releases of the weekend, Jordan Brand is going to be the main event hands down. First up is the Air Jordan 4 Calls. I'll be honest here, these are gonna be incredibly hard, if not impossible to get, but if you do get a pair, expect to send 350 for that very unique collaboration. Keeping with suede Jordans, the Air Jordan 1 Blue Royal suede is dropping this weekend as well. Now, don't confuse this model with the other Air Jordan 1 that's dropping this weekend. This one is all royal with suede all over the upper. Those will cost you 140. On the actual performance basketball side of things, Jordan Brand is releasing the Air Jordan 31 in Royal as well. I played quite a bit in the Air Jordan 31 and despite having a few traction issues with the original pair that I had, the rest of them that I've played in have been really incredible. Those will cost you 185. Now the other super hyped up release of the weekend is the Air Jordan 1 Royal. This is the OG version of the shoe and it rocks the Royal and Black mix on that upper. For fans of the Jordan line, you should know that this version of the shoe was the original colorway that released way back when the shoe actually first dropped. Look for those will cost you $160 and they will be tough to get as well, but you can pick up pairs over at Finish Line. All right, as with every week, there may be a few other things to drop, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick highlights of the stuff that I thought you would definitely be paying attention to. As always, I am Jacques Slade. Make sure you turn on your notifications and subscribe. This is the Heat Check presented by Finish Line, and as always, I appreciate you. I'll see you soon. Peace.